Okay, so this is the, the mirror, the replacement mirror. Um, okay, in this video, we are going to replace the side mirror on a, a 2005 Saturn Relay. Um, I should start out by saying I am not a mechanic at all. Um, I normally go to YouTube to figure out how to do anything. I went to see if there was anything about how to change the side mirror on a Saturn Relay and couldn't find anything. So I decided to go ahead and make a video. And uh, I've already taken the, the side panel off here. That's when I decided I wanted to go ahead and make a video to hopefully help somebody else who might be dealing with the same uh, the same problem as me. Um, so this is me and my helper today. We're gonna to be working on this. Okay, so first thing, the mirror um, has basically these three bolts that hold it on, um, which I've laid over here. Um, my first, my hope was that I could just take this little side panel off and uh, just kind of pull it back maybe and get to these bolts or nuts, I guess, and take those off. And then I could just take the whole mirror off. But the problem is that the uh, the mirror has, it's, it's electro, electric, has a motor in it. Yeah, so it has a, uh, a this cable that goes down inside the door. So the first thing you gotta do is get this side panel off. And that was probably what I really needed a video most for, because I didn't know what was behind it. So here's what I had to do. First, the wires. Hmm? The wires are there. Yep, there's the wires. He's right. First thing I had to do was take this piece off. So let's go ahead and hold this. Hold this up like that for me. I did was this piece that goes right in here over the doorknob, the, the, the handle. I just popped that out. Uh, you can see here how um, I kind of broke it when I did it. I don't know how else to pop this thing out. I just I pulled. I tried to do it light but it still kind of snapped that piece off right there. Um, I'm hoping it'll, it'll go back on. But the second thing I had to do, is, all right, so if you notice here, uh, there's two screws inside here, and they had to come out so this piece could, in order for this panel to come off. And from then on, I just took a long screwdriver uh, like this and just kind of went in on the sides and just kind of popped them out. And you can see here on the uh, back side of the door, uh, where these these parts are that had to come out. So, so just hold, hold it right there so we can see. So here's what we have now. We have the door off. You see side, down inside the there. Okay. There's a cord that goes down inside here. And right here is where that, let's see if you can get the light over here. Right here is where the, the cord connects, which is why this whole door panel has to come off. Um, so let's go ahead and take this piece off now. Make sure the light's a little bit better. Okay, I think this will just pop right off. Um, so I just kind of put a little pressure on that. Actually, yeah, squeeze from this end. Just pop that out. You see that? Okay. So what you do is you, you push in down on this part here and then this will, this will slide out like that. I actually had to take a screwdriver around in here to kind of loosen this up a bit. Uh, but now that it's already loose, of course, it comes right off and looks real easy. <laughs> okay, so that part comes off. We've got our core that's still down in here. All right, helper, come on around here. Put our light down. So what we want to do is we want to free this up, but we also want to see where it's coming from. Okay, so it's down in there. So just hold that. Let me go around. This okay. looks kind of old. Yeah. All right, so it's going to come out down here, but it goes up through here. So let's go ahead and take it on out. Okay. It looks like it's hung on something. That's going to get your fingers all sticky. There's some kind of, yeah. I don't know if it's just the electrical tape or what, but it's, it's kind of got a glue that's all sticky. Let me rub it on the car. <laughs> don't rub it on the car. Okay. All right. There it is. I felt it. Okay, go ahead and pull it on out. Okay. It's now the wires. 
Yeah. Why is he stuck? There we go. So there. now we have that one completely off. Wait, what's that? Okay, so here's our new mirror. Okay, it has a. Uh, it doesn't have the nuts. It has these plastic covers. Um, but it has the the cord, and it has this uh, little spongy washer type. Look at that spongy thing. It's not so spongy anymore. Yeah, that one's all flattened out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this part and we're going to run it down into the door and then we're going to line up the uh, the bolts here into the holes and go ahead and attach the, the nuts on those to hold those on. And then we'll focus on making sure this gets connected properly. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece off, which I, I'm not sure what it's for. Maybe it's just to protect that from being bent. Uh, so it's a little little plastic uh, packaging. I'm going to take the the plastic nuts here off. Put those down in the trash. Okay. Now I'm going to run this down where the other one was, and before I fasten it. Before you need to run the line down. Before I, okay. So I'm going to reach down behind here, down in here, and try to find the other end of that, which I did. Actually, that was actually pretty easy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and connect these. Try to do it with one hand. Ah, that was that easy. And then I'm going to plug this back into that little hole there. That's that's done. All right. That's then super easy. I'm going to take these screws. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. Is it in flat? No. It's going to be. Yeah, we're not, it's not about pushing. You don't have to push. Is it on? Nothing else. We'll show you what not to do with this video. <laughs> we uh We hit our mirror on something and had to replace it. The okay. mailbox. Yeah. So tell everybody what happened. There's a teen driver. Yeah, I saw somebody else. I right, so have a number 10. A 10 millimeter um, little wrench here. So right now we actually have the mirror on here. So for the most part, that mirror should be pretty secure. Just give him a little bit of turn here. Okay, so let's just see how that feels. See if it folds. Yeah. Should it fold? No. Yeah. Yeah, it should be able to fold all the way. So let's try that. Just not make sure we don't break it. Yeah, that would be good. All right, so that actually worked just fine. Mirror folds back. Okay. So next, we're going to put the, the door back on. We'll put it back on exactly opposite of how we took it off. So if you'd hold the camera right around here. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Just hold it there, um, over here so you can kind of see. Okay, so I want to make sure I have plenty of room here. I'm going to watch it close, slowly, slowly. Okay. Oh, it's a dramatic stuff. Shh, don't do that. Don't. Okay. Okay, this is actually going to be a little more challenging than I was sweating all over the place. So shiny. Okay, Wait, that one went in. Darn it, I missed the dramatic effect of it closing. Wait, there's still a little gap down there. Okay. We're, gonna, we're not going to miss this dramatic effect. Yes. Okay, make sure all of them go into holes right. So, so they go. They go. I'm just looking around to make sure that that seal is pretty tight all through here. Look, now can I take it down? Yeah, it's all the way in. Okay, so next, next we want to put this back in, and so I left I left the screws in here. Again, you can see them down there. I left those screws screws in, so it's just a matter of lining them up in the holes down there. So I'll go ahead and do that. I happen to have 
one of these. Oh, and it's a uh, pencil. No, uh, what is it? It says T30. Okay. But, hold it still because you're focusing on my finger. There we go. Right there. Um, it says T30. I'm not sure. I hope so. piece off and if I have to I'll epoxy it back on okay all right so it's good I think that's it all right so we have it back together we have the new mirror on we tried out the motor it works great there's no gaps in here along the, uh, the the seam of the door panel okay. so that's how you do it